Hi, my name is Matt Scott. I'm 28. I live in Washington, D.C. And right now I'm actually just outside the city at Great Falls Park in Virginia. And when people think of Washington, D.C., they often think of the monuments and politics and the tourist destinations, but they won't necessarily think of all of the green areas we have. And in D.C., while I live right off of Rock Creek Park, which spans the city, and really takes up so much of the city, I actually decided to come out today to enjoy one of our other beautiful green areas. I think I first started to experience the impacts of climate change in my experience of DC in 2010 when I moved to DC because that summer, I remember getting all the text notifications about the air alerts, the air quality, about the heat. And that's when I first experienced, truly experienced and was aware of the impacts, but I didn't really tie back those things to climate change and a bigger problem that we could really do something about. Since my, my first summer in DC, we've had five of DC's six hottest summers ever on record. And I think that's sad. And I want for people in general, but you know, my nephew Micah, who's two years old, to grow up in a world where he could enjoy the natural environments like this and appreciate the, na the nature and plant life and animals that, that make this world so beautiful and that we often overlook. I feel hopeful as a social impact project manager and storyteller, as the climate solutions storyteller at the organization Project Drawdown, and as someone who interviews hundreds of change makers, including through Let's Care, that there are people who are out here making an impact. That energy is out there. It's something we could tap into, and it's something that I plan on tapping into and helping others tap into to make an impact because there's so many people who want to enjoy planet Earth, that want to have the benefit of this world as something that generations could still inhabit and build and benefit from and, and share with their future generations. And that's not going to happen without all of us. It's an all hands on deck effort and I'm really proud to be part of it. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this, this beautiful day. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening to my climate story.